Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Coming up on today's show. We're alpine climbing in the Tian Shan of China. And we're alpine climbing with John Ross Kelly. Right. First up, we've got a really inspiring video showing the ups and downs of expedition life. Mountain hardware athletes Mike Lebecki, Ethan Pringle and Liv Sunzers travelled last year to the Tian Shan Mountains on the Chinese Kyrgyz border with no fixed objective but looking for adventure. Certainly found it. Beautiful morning here up at about, uh, gosh, pushing 11,000 feet. A week to get to this point from leaving home. Getting really excited to actually see the rock, get really stoked and, and get up there and touch it and climb on it. <laughs> the rock gun needs to conserve his energy. We're here at the base camp and we still don't know what will be our objective. Alpine start. Mike said, okay, we don't know what we are going to do, so take all your tools, everything you have. I got a tip about this place through an old 1942 edition Russian map of this border area. Even on the maps, it's stamped in Russian top secret. And you can just see these topo lines of big walls. Yet, it also has restricted areas on it where it's like military area, military area. The last time I tried to go in this area, I was thrown in jail, taken by the military and detained. After the last two expeditions I've done with Mike, he could have told me that we were going to investigate untapped big wall potential outside of Calcutta or something, and I still would have gone. I'm an optimist, and especially on these expeditions, honestly, there's suffering. Yet, I found that you've got to stay positive and you have to keep going, you've got to keep pushing forward. If not for myself, for my partners, even if that success is just coming home alive. Up next, we've got a video introducing a climber who really should need no introduction, but isn't that well known in Europe, John Ross Kelly. John won the PLA Door Lifetime Achievement Award last week, and we thought we'd show you a little clip where he explains his approach to climbing and how he feels looking back on a long and successful career that included new routes on Makalu, K2, Nanda Devi, and Gauri Shankar. When I think back on all these years of climbing, I don't think of routes and summits. I think of my partners. Jeff and Lou, Rick and Jim, Kim and Galen, Nanda Devi and Willie, and all the others who shared their time with me, freezing on belays, bent on their heavy loads, fighting hurricane winds, and drenched in monsoon rains. We shared a passion, overcame the difficulties, and whether the summit was reached or not, we were better for our efforts. I don't think I continued year after year to climb in the Himalayas and Karakoram just to summit peaks. For me, expeditions to Asia were opportunities to step back through time, experience ancient religions and cultures, and make sense of my life back home. The journey to the mountain became more important to me than the climb. You can see the whole 10 minute video by going to the PLA Doors Vimeo page. That's it from us today and we'll see you tomorrow.